Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my monthly favourites for the month of November. And if you read my blog, then you will know that last month, which was October favourites, I said that I hated taking the pictures for my monthly favourites. And I was really hoping that this month it would be a video. And I've done it! So today I'm just bringing you some of my favourite things that I've really been enjoying using this month. And there's quite a lot of beauty bits in there. So let's get on with it. The first thing that I've really been loving is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette which is beautiful, just look how matte and lovely it is. So it's basically a matte palette with these lovely nude cool tone colours and they're just super 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 beautiful. I never ever thought that I'd say that I love matte colours because I love glitter. I love a bit of glitter and a bit of shimmer but I actually do really love them. They're just beautiful and they all remind me of Kylie Jenner. I think I might do a look on that actually because she wears a lot of matte eyeshadows and they are just all Kylie Jenner. But that is just a beautiful palette. It's so easy to use and can give you so many looks just with only a few shadows. So I've been loving this and you should go and get it because it's amazing. The next thing is something that I've had for a while now but I've not really used it and put it to the full test. So it's the Bourjois One Second Volume Mascara. And I got it in a beauty box actually because I usually stick with my Maybelline The Falses and I love it so much that I wouldn't think of trying other mascaras. But this one is so good. Like I've got it on today and it just makes my eyelashes look so long and it, it does, it gives you volume but length as well. I don't understand the second bit because that's like one. Nobody does the mascara in a, a second but it is really good and I've really been enjoying it. I wonder if they do it in waterproof mascara as well because I wear waterproof a lot with going to the gym. Um, so I might try and check that out and let you know but yes, love this. The next thing is something super Christmassy, getting me in the festive spirit. And it's a Ciate Mini Little Glitter Polish. And I think it's called Lock It. It's called Lock It. And it's like a silver, I've got it on today. It's silver, but it's got like bits of glitter in. I don't know if that'll focus. Uh, but the glitter bits are really quite big because I don't really like the fine glitter as much. I don't mind it but I do prefer the bigger pieces and this is just so pretty. My next favourite then is something that's been out a while but I've only just got around to trying and it's the Rimmel Gel Black Eyeliner, um, the one in a little pot like this and I've just never got around to trying it. I've been happy enough with my felt tip liners and just never thought oh I'll go out and buy a gel liner but it's actually really nice. Now. The brush it comes with is a little bit pants and it doesn't do it very well but if you've got a right brush to use then it does, it works really well. And I actually find it easier than using a felt tip because when you're doing the brush stroke you've like got a fluid movement with your hand, I don't know, it's just easier and it's good to get into the lashes deeper as well. So you can tell I've used that already and it's waterproof as well so there's no budging like I said I go to the gym uh, I don't always wear eyeliner to the gym not on purpose anyway but if I'm going from work or something and I haven't got time to take my makeup off then I don't have to worry about my eyeliner running down my face so yeah I really like that um, I might actually try out some other gel eyeliners as well because it's a new thing for me so yeah bit of a late comer but I like you. The next two products that I'm going to talk about are like skin saviours for me at this time of year. If you read my blog then you will know that I have super dry skin, I have eczema and this time of year when the weather drops and the central heating comes on my skin is like help 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 it just goes really dry and it's awful so I don't like using steroid like hydrocortisone creams too much so I like to use different products that I use in the summer to make sure that my skin is super moisturised now around my face like here 
and on my cheeks it's been really dry recently and even here which is a first like next to my eyebrows so at night time I have been using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate in this little blue bottle and it is a saviour it's like a little eyedropper which I didn't realise that was what it was like and you just like put three drops into your fingers rub it in and just dot it on your face I use it under my moisturiser some people may not need the moisturiser but it's not only helped to stop my skin drying out but it's like giving me this really clear beautiful skin and I'm not getting spots as much and my pores are just looking nicer and it is it's a miracle midnight recovery concentrate it should be called miracle actually but yeah it smells amazing as well it like makes you want to go to sleep which is why it's probably only for midnight my last one then it's a Vino skin relief and I've just only gone and got this because my skin is just plain havoc um, it's just super dry and I get it like I get really dry on my chest in the creases of my arms uh, behind my arms here so this is amazing it's like I don't even know it's got oats in it which are really 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 relieving for my skin so it just soothes it and stops it irritating it makes it feel just amazing it might not have the best smell um, what does it smell of? it doesn't really smell much it reminds me a bit of old people <laughs> now I've got the skin relief one there's a green one as well which I think is like the normal one and this is like the extra skin relief one but it is really good just for everyday use uh, I use it twice a day now and it doesn't last forever but a little does go a long way with it it's super thick and super moisturising so if you struggle with your dry skin just like me and things like E45, aqueous cream they're just not doing it for you then have a go with this I strongly recommend it so that's it for my monthly favourites for November now I think that in my next video my background might be changing I might have some Christmas things going on in there and I can't believe that it's December how crazy is that but obviously excited to bring you lots of Christmassy videos and tutorials and Christmas looks so it's super exciting month really for me on YouTube and for my blog as well so I'll be sure to leave all my links down below so that you can go and check all of those out don't forget to like comment leave me something what you liked uh, leave me some of your monthly favourites that you might want to recommend to me or you could leave me some suggestions for our next video and subscribe please thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye uh, this oh this oh